Hi guys, this is Stephanie Wade. <laughs> I'm Habasia. <laughs> I'm also your Creole Griotis. And I'm getting ready to harvest some of my vegetables out here. I'm so excited. They looking so good. Anyways, you'll just see me harvest and I'll show you what I get in just a sec, okay? I'll be using these pruners to get my vegetables off the vine. See this big old okra? the best harvest yet guys What a, what a difference a day makes. I mean, this was not here yesterday. I had like little flowers, that's all, showing. Just a very few okra was showing yesterday. It's like an Easter egg hunt. This one is for seed purposes only. It's pretty dry. I'm gonna put it in a brown bag and let it finish drying to harvest the seeds. This is the, this is the first time I ever planted okras or grew okras in my life but I've been eating them all my life. I'm also harvesting the basil and these little parts here. I'm gonna make sure I don't leave any of those because I want my basil to continue to grow throughout the summertime and into the fall. And if you leave these stay on here, 
till they finish sprouting all the flowers. It will change the way the basil tastes and it won't keep growing. It's like gathering a bouquet of edible flowers. <laughs> See how pretty? I'm going to eat the basil, well, in a salad or with okra. Smells so good, y'all. <laughs> move this a little closer so y'all can see me as I move around in this garden. Now I'm going to start harvesting the red okra. This one is everybody's favorite. I never saw red okra in my life until I ordered it online from Tom Thumbs Nursery and I got it like a little baby seedling, a couple of them in fact, and they grew into big old, big old bush, okra bush. I didn't even know they was gonna do anything. I was so happy they just lived. Look y'all, can't believe it, I can't believe it. I'll actually be able to cook me some okra without going to the store to buy more okra. Cause half the time when I do that, I have to throw away an okra too. Cause it's like <laughs> all dark, you know, if I buy it in one of those plastic packages. Well, guys, I'm not seeing any more that's ready to harvest yet. Yeah, I see some little small ones on here, but they just not ready, not ready yet for harvesting. You see? Not ready yet for harvest. Yeah, it's hard to show you. There you go. Not ready yet for harvest. But everybody likes this plant. They ask about it all the time. Well, guys, I'm gonna let y'all go. I need to bring my food inside and put it in a bag and get ready to eat it tomorrow. I'll see if I have any more okra that sprouts up overnight to add to it. But tomorrow, definitely, I'm gonna cook me some okra. This is my little porch spider. Every year I get one. I don't know if they're related or what, but I just really love the detail of the spider web and the determination of one little insect to create such beauty. It's amazing. Goes to show you slow and steady you can do it if a simple spider can do it. Say, is the spider really simple? Doesn't have any money, but it creates where it's gonna live and it already has inside of itself what it needs to survive. 
how to capture its food, everything is in its web. Such an in interesting creature to me anyways. Let's see, it's just right in my yard. And I've been watching it today. I leave it alone, as long as it doesn't bother me. It entertains me. I've seen one last all the way through a hurricane continuously building its house all the way through a hurricane. Hmm. Better than people for that. People have to go inside during a hurricane. That's these ones stay outside and just keep rebuilding its nest. It has excellent survival skills. One of my favorite creatures, the spiders. Just looking at this spider from a different angle. Very good work indeed. Very good work. <laughs>